What's up all you rockin' dudes and you dads? Toy is here and I'm back again for yet another What A Week video covering all the latest and greatest in toys and pop culture news. A lot of great and fun stuff this week, I will say. Kind of a lull, a little bit of a lull from New York Comic Con and then also Triple Force Friday. Also for some of you, Frozen Friday. There's a lot of that merchandise in stores, especially Target. A lot of weird stuff with Target this week. I'm, I'm worried about you, Target. You're my go-to store, and uh, when I go in your stores now, I'm like, is everything okay? So we'll talk about that more coming up in just a few. But let's not make this video in an hour like last week. Thank you again to everyone who watched. I know that a lot of you say I like this format, and it's I treat this more as like a podcast. We're just simply talking it's just a talking video just to have some fun and let it all out and it's it kind of goes a little bit long but sometimes i'll make it short as well we'll see what happens but sometimes there are weeks where just a lot of stuff happens and i just like talking about it so and also let me know what you think we're going to be changing up the format not crazy but we're going to be having other people on just to kind of talk someone to banter back and forth with so i'm not a crazy person talking to myself the entire time treat it more as a as a podcast show sort of deal but let me know your thoughts on that i actually talked to a bunch of people and they've given me the okay so i think you're gonna like the people that actually want to come on the show so that's really rad and most appreciative i i love just talking with everybody and always interested to see everyone else's perspectives on What's happening, what's out there, the toys and everything to buy, and it's it's nonstop, and the holidays are around the corner, which means lots of clearance prices, so just to keep that in mind, FYI, Walmart has sure been clearancing the heck out of everything, we'll talk about more of that in just a second, but first and let's foremost, get into it, more Star Wars news, the, uh, the Best Buy exclusive, the IG-11, kind of got a better look, it's, it, yeah, it's going to be a Best Buy exclusive, from the Mandalorian, it's basically IG-88 with some new bandoliers, same guns, a little bit new paint. Expect this guy. He is he is starting to hit up in Toys R Us Canada. He is slated for more of a December release, but we know how these things go. Expect Best Buy probably put him on the site in the next couple weeks or so. It's just always what happens. And then, of course, yes, Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight, Black Series, 6-inch figure, Walmart exclusive. I did do a video revealing all the new... Star Wars products after Triple Force Friday, which I'll link right here, so you can go ahead and check that out really easily. There's a lot of stuff. There's a, there's a Force Spirit Yoda as well. He'll be a Walmart exclusive. Also, the two-pack, which is $50 for whatever reason, but the C-3PO Chewbacca Empire Strikes Back Amazon exclusive. That's up now. Link in the description below. Fan channel exclusive Commander Fox. Same deal. He's been up and down. People found him in stores, but expect him later on but yeah just to kind of go over it again from last week i picked up last sunday this is actually really funny i forget if i if we talked about this but i went to target and i was first one there there's no one else no one else in, in in front of target i'm the only weirdo hanging out with target employees trying to go into work they're like you know and i was wearing a red jacket that's the other funny part uh and yeah anyways so um i go in the store and and right before that there's like two minutes before the store opens, all these people show up and I'm sitting there and you know, you do that thing where you're like, you're listening to their conversations and you're like, are they going for the brachiosaurus? I have to be there. I have to do that run, you know, everything else. Lo and behold, not one person went for the brachiosaurus. They were either after Star Wars or Hot Wheels or yada yada. But uh, yeah, it's, it's suffice to say, I did walk out finally with the brachiosaurus. So I'm very stoked on that. Pulled it out of the box, had a couple laughs. It looks like, you know, that, I think it doesn't look very scary, more like a, a six-foot turkey. You know, that just immediately came to mind once you hook the tail and the head on. It looks fantastic. One of, probably one of the best figures. I like the Colossal T-Rex. Now you got the Brachiosaurus. This this thing, is, it's just so much fun, so much nostalgia. Watched the Jurassic, original Jurassic Park for the first time with the fam and all that stuff. Not not for me, but, you know, for other people in the fam. And it, it was awesome. A great time to be had. So thank you to Mattel and everything else, you know, for making such a, a nice conversation piece and bringing everybody together. It's 
It's what we've always wanted ever since the movie came out. How why was it so hard to make that? That was not saying you, but tell us saying Kenner, what were you what were you doing? Nobody from Kenner is listening. Anyways, I'm just talk see, this is why we need another person to talk on the show, because I'm just mindlessly going on. Star Wars again. There's, there's gonna be a lot of Star Wars on this, especially for the first part of this. Star Wars, the vintage collection, Yavin Ceremony, Luke Skywalker went up on Walmart and then quickly went off of Walmart. People were all about that. And I know people that have actually gotten him from Walmart. He arrived safe and sound. So that's really cool, I guess. Uh, nice, you know, nothing hectic. I didn't hear anything hectic. That's a shock, Walmart. That's, are you going to do better? Is the world's best toy store going to do better? <laughs> we should not even call it Walmart anymore for just the holiday season. It's just the world's best toy store i think that's what we should just call walmart and see how they do this is another part of my uh, favorite part of the holiday season coming up is when you kind of if you have to kill time or you just want you know you're going in looking for toys obviously but you walk around the holiday section of target and they just have a lot of fun things out and i i love the fall i think that's just a nice time it's starting to get cold and you get to make a lot of great food and gifts and sales and Black Friday and Cyber Monday and all those fun times where we can save money finally. But this part in particular is when you know you walk by the mugs and they have a, some really nice looking stuff out. I didn't I didn't buy anything, but it's still fun. I'm, I'm maybe get that screaming sugar one or the ghost. I don't know. There's also a mummy. I saw the mummy. I forget your name, but shout out to them. They they said like, oh, did you see the mummy? And I saw him the other day at the Target, so he looks cool. But you know, you got, oh my gird, here's fall, <laughs> or I love fall. You got the ghost, witch's brew, screaming sugar. A lot of, you know, it's just, it's a lot of fun. I, I love that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, you can get them at Target. I think they're like five or six bucks a piece, something like that. Shout out to Troy Z up in Canada. Awesome dude. Definitely go follow him on Instagram. He uh, really, you know, does an awesome job. He really helped me out when they announced the Alpha Flight box set. He did the interview for me for uh, my Hasbro slot. So thank you again to Troy Z. The dude finds everything up there. He's like he's like the bloodhound of Canada. He just finds it. You know what I mean? So he came across the Luke Skywalker, the Walmart exclusive here, but he found it up at his Walmart up uh, up in Ontario. And so if you are looking for them, if you're up in Canada, start checking Bingo Bango. He found it. Finally, some other toy companies NECA always amazing NECA thank you again you know NECA sent out those uh New York Comic Con exclusives those are some of my those are gonna go like it's gonna be hard when you do like the top 10 or whatever lists you know the best figures of the year I'm just gonna spoilers those those are gonna be on it some way somehow but their upcoming that's the five no I'm sorry the eight inch scale Sam, the fully cloth Sam figure from the movie Trick or Treat. If you've never seen Trick or Treat, go see it. It's, or get by the DVD, whatever. It, it took me, I saw this in the theaters. Did I see this in the theaters? I saw it on a special theater. It, I, I think it went, it went straight to DVD and I saw it on a special release uh, later on. But I searched high and low for this DVD. I couldn't find it. I remember going into Best Buy when it was released. People had no idea what I was talking about. And then I think probably a month or two later after it released, I finally found it. And I absolutely love the movie. But subsequently, yeah, they have uh, put it into small little theaters when they do things every once in a while. I think I saw it in L.A. I think that's where where I saw it. And uh, they were having a special evening. But Trick or Treat is one of those, it's a modern horror movie. And Sam here, he goes, I think he, he matches up with Freddy and Jason and all those iconic sort of Halloween characters so NECA's making a rock and fi- I can't wait for this figure. It's a giant clamshell figure. to spot on. NECA, you're killing it, man. You, you just, you're making these awesome toys. Also, again, on Amazon for Star Wars news there. Amazon exclusive vintage collection. This is like their armor, armor pack Sith Trooper. He was originally slated for 15 then he turned out to be 18 bucks. So Amazon, he's either getting wise and like, well, people will buy it, but... Uh, He sold out rather quick. Expect this guy, I think, to be... He'll be back. All all these Star Wars figures will be back some way, somehow. Also, uh, the new Black Series 6-inch Wedge Antilles figure went out. J&L Toys. I know that you were all over this one. (laughs) 
we had a nice conversation about that. Hey, I'm glad that Wedge is finally uh, finally here. So he's up on Amazon, or they all these were up on Amazon. They had the uh, the Jet Trooper, first order Jet Trooper. These Wedge and the Jet Trooper are not Amazon exclusives. These are going to be everywhere. But of course, Amazon put up pre orders and. Yes, again, see me having fun with NECA figures. I kind of posed the question. I was just thinking about this, and I was like, what would be funny? And then I actually thought about it. I got, like, really into, into like, a, a detailed mind kind of deal uh, with the DC superheroes being paired up with, or, like, a crossover with horror classics, like Michael and Freddy and Batman, Pettywise, what did I say, uh, Hellraiser, Constantine, you know, Jason and Teen Titans, that, you know what I mean, it's it's dumb on paper, but it might, <laughs> it could be an interesting um, kind of mashup, I don't know, hey, DC Comics, uh, come to me, I got, I got some, I got some ideas, let's, uh, let's talk about it, shout out to Red F Records on Instagram, R-E-D-E-F Records, R-E-C-O-R-D-S, thank you again for writing in, they came across at their, it's a store called Amazing Savings, uh, it's it, this was in Clifton, New Jersey. They have locations on the East Coast. They found the 12-inch Marvel Legend figures for twenty dollars a piece. The Wolverine, I got him at GameStop. I never saw him again after that. I, I uh, pre-ordered him through the site. You know, you, you go on the site, it says reserve at store. Never saw him again after that. That if you don't have that is one of the best Wolverine figures ever made. Probably close to being the best Wolverine figure ever made. It's it's got extra heads hands it's it's fantastic the yellows the blacks the the actual heads are are perfect you know he's all he can look ripped up torn up by saber tooth you definitely have to grab one if you can and so if you're local to the amazing savings store i would definitely go and check that out and uh again very much appreciated to red f records because a lot of people didn't know about this and i think that it really helped people out in getting some of these so excellent props to you on that Mezco announced their new Gambit figure. Gambit's been been teased and shown for quite a few conventions now. You're probably so... I think it was uh, probably LA Comic Con last year. Something like that. Uh, Speaking of LA Comic Con, just as a side note, I will not be able to attend this year. I went last year. It was a little bit lackluster. Unfortunately, I made other plans, but I will be... I'll be covering the show. I have some people that will be going, but I myself will not be there. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see uh, how it goes. I don't think they're going to be revealing much, but there will be a few companies there, but don't count on like Hasbro or New Marvel Legends, anything like that. But like I said, Mezco put up their pre-order for Gambit, and he looks great. I I just sometimes when I see these, I, I'm waiting for that Ghost Rider. That's... Uh, that's the one that's that's going to push me over the edge for the, the Mezco. I joined the Mezco again. You know, I got Spider-Man and a few of the New York Toy Fair exclusives. However, they are putting out some really awesome figures. And then also up on Entertainment Earth, there was a electronic Darth Vader pop. Looks like some pops are going a little bit more, you know, walk and talking kind of deal. Just to get a little spice to them a little bit. So if you want that, I'll put a description in the... uh, How about I put a link in the description below? That would probably make more sense, right? (laughs) But uh, interesting to me. If anybody has any electronic pops, I'm just curious how they are. I I don't collect pops. I appreciate them. I see them all the time. And there's some that even get me to go... You know, I will take it back. I have one. And uh, I, I... It was a gift. But uh, yeah, the I got the Alien 8-bit one. I had to have that for my uh, Xenomorph collection. And then, like I said, the uh, Chewbacca C-3PO 2-pack went up on Amazon. 50 bucks. I, 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 you know, I say I get it, but I don't, I don't know why it's 50. I know it's Star Wars. I would have maybe said 45. I mean, you are... You are getting two figures that have been previously released. They just kind of have new parts. Of t- you know what I mean? Moving on. So again, yeah, Best Buy put up their IG-11 pre-order if you wanted to get him. Also for the Vintage Collection, the Mandalorian TV show ATST Raider. That will be a Best Buy exclusive as well. I believe that's $80, right? Yeah, that's 80 bucks and... I would just say, wait for your clearance on that one. <coughs> clearance. Oh, sorry. Anyways, 
Jazzwares, I was at Target, came across the brand new holiday exclusive. I did a review on this. I'll put it right here in the link, description below, up top, below, whatever you want to, whatever you want to do in this. It'll be there, easy to click on. But yeah, I grabbed this. I'm a big sucker, like I said, you know, for the holidays. And when you do a holiday exclusive anything, especially toys, I love when they do Halloween type stuff, especially with with uh, Mattel and the WWE Ghostbusters. So now we have these Christmas. Fortnite figures. These are amazing. They are so much fun. They're so twisted and weird. And I, Jazzwares does a fantastic job with these four inch Fortnite figures. I, my, I love my collection. I very much appreciate the time and effort that they put into making these things. It's just, it's little things, you know what I mean? But it's, I don't even know what I'm looking at half the time with Fortnite. I don't play the game. But these are just, bonkers man they're just so much fun also came across the four inch scale the quad crasher it's electronic this will run you about 25 bucks at target it's not a target exclusive as far as what's relayed it just was first found the gingerbread set is a target exclusive but this one is not so you should be able to find it every which way but again i mean it's it's crazy i'm loving everything and like i said if you want to go ahead and check out my review it's up now and it's <laughs> I love this set. Speaking of top ten, it might be uh might be on there as well. Thousand Toys released a few photos well, I should say it was on display at New York Comic Con and with all the hustle and bustle craziness of everything going on. This is their upcoming second of their Hellboy figures. First of all, they of course they did Hellboy, and now we got Abe Sapien. Looks to have a lot of people are saying, does he come with an extra torso? I don't think he comes with an extra torso. I just think that he comes with a vest, and they're just showing it off as uh, something you can add or subtract to the figure when you have it. But expect more details later, price, exact release, and then also what exactly comes with the figure. I imagine a couple extra head portraits, hands, some weapons here and there. So definitely looking forward to that. I was on Mercari, oddly enough. This popped up as one of the recommended, like, hey, you know, you like uh, toys? What well, You might want to buy this. So this is the previously released and shown off. These are just the Chinese exclusive Marvel Legends figures. And they're doing right now, it's single packs. They have Spider-Man, Iron Man, and Captain America. They come with zero accessories except for Captain America. It comes with a shield because you have to. Uh, there's no extra hands for Spidey or anything like that. So basically, it's reused, repainted figures, and they're for the Chinese mass market. They're more, meant to be more of a bargain sort of figure in that sense. So no bath, no pieces, no hands, no accessories, nothing like that. Just bottom line, basic figure. However, I did get one. You can probably guess which one I got. I only got one. Because of that stylish packaging, and it's for the old collection. So, you know, when he uh, finally arrives, I will definitely show him off. Captain America looks okay. I like, you know, he comes with a shield, and Iron Man looks like the bleeding edge armor, and people were pointing out, like, oh, the artwork's not the same on the back, eh, whatever. And then some people were saying, oh, these are knockoffs. They're not knockoffs. Pay attention. <laughs> PlayStation, Sony PlayStation have uh, have announced and con- you know confirmed that for the holiday 2020 release, holiday, just FYI for a few people, when you talk about product release or marketing or anything that is slated for advertising, when you say holiday release, that means Thanksgiving, Christmas time into January, a little bit here and there. It's holiday, it's when the sales and the hustle and bustle and everything else starts coming out, so just FYI, and usually these types of things hit around Black Friday Thanksgiving because you got to have plenty of time to buy gifts for December 25th. So just FYI for everyone uh, wondering, when you say holiday, it does mean around that time frame. But in either case, PlayStation 5 is coming, no real details just yet. A lot of speculation. A lot of articles were saying, oh, this is coming out. And then you read another article and they're like, oh, this is speculating. So we're going to leave it as PlayStation 5, holiday 2020 release, probably going to be expensive and do a lot of crazy advanced video game type stuff. So look for it. Then I know a lot of people are saying, I just got a PlayStation 4. 
And now I'm thinking, like, well, maybe I will just get a PlayStation 4 now that this one's going to be going on sale. Hopefully, they'll clear it some soon. Maybe Black Friday. Also, on Amazon, we have the 6-inch Fortnite Omega figures from Jazzwares. You got two colors, two styles. It's the same exact figure. You got orange and you got purple. It's meant to emulate the skins of the characters, different characters. So... Yeah, they're 30 bucks if you want to grab them. These are also hitting Target and Walmart stores now, so be on the lookout for those. A lot When you see these things, and so I, I came across them, when you see these things in stores, there's so many parts and pieces. It's You can see why it's, it's a little bit more expensive. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll definitely give them that, and a lot of people... A lot of people, you know, including me, when you say, like, oh, yeah, Jazz Wars Fortnite. Like, I don't play Fortnite, but the figures, the character designs are just too much fun to pass up. So, yeah, I, I they're doing quite well. All the, you know, McFarlane, Moose Toys, Jazzwares, everyone that's making Fortnite figures is having an absolute blast doing so. So, definitely check them out. I think, uh, I think you'll have some fun with some Fortnite figures. I don't even remember the names half the time. I just put them on the shelf. I'm like, oh, those look cool. Then you build them up. You know, with all the building pieces. Anyways, moving on. So I put this up. Thank you to uh, St- at Stretch the Truth AF on Instagram. They sent over one of their Stretch the Truth Donald Trump dolls. Uh, it is what it is. I knew this was gonna. As much as, as much as you could say, like, hey, you know, we don't have to get political. We can look at it as a toy. It doesn't work that way. But if you did want to order one, so I did a live Instagram video on him, sort of like how stretchy he is. Very reminiscent of Stretch Armstrong. Very, very cool. And they might have more on the way, different characters later in the date. So look at this as a piece of, you know, presidential merchandise. It's it's very interesting. If you really enjoy what the president's doing, then you're probably going to like this. If you don't like what the president is doing, then... There you go as well. You know, it's like a win-win situation, and I think everyone needs to just have a little bit more fun with this, not take themselves too seriously, and and really just not talk. <laughs> and this is why I don't talk any type of politics, because to have a conversation online about really anything like this is the dumbest way to go. So not going there. We're treating this as a toy. Yes, 100%. This is a toy. So just have some fun with it. Just let it go and have some fun and use the code IMPEACHTOYSHIZ when you go on their site and it will give you free shipping. So just FYI, if you wanted to grab one, you got a few days left to get it. So definitely go and check them out. And again, great gag gift. You know what I mean? Great fun. If someone really likes the president, they go, oh, thanks a lot. If they don't, they're going to be like, what the? Oh, you got me. You know, one of those things. So. Again, very Stretch Armstrong related, but uh, it's okay. It's just a toy, and there have been a thousand types of toys like this for all manner of presidents and government officials. Just FYI, the internet is your friend. Also, with the War Machine Punisher, I pulled out a bunch of my Punishers, and I pulled out a bunch of my War Machines. Got a lot more Punishers than War Machines, but I tried to kind of even it out in this photo, and thank you to everyone who liked that. had a good time. A lot of people said, hey, where's the video for this? I didn't think that, you know, there's a ton of reviews for this guy online, but uh, I got a I got an idea in my head. If you guys want me to talk about it, I could show off the Punisher and War Machine figures and then end on the War Punisher figure, if you guys are into that. And also, if you are looking still for the Punisher War Machine, it was a GameStop. I managed to grab one. However, they immediately halted the shipping. He just shipped a little bit early. He's going to be slated again for a December release. Entertainment Earth has them. Amazon has them. So if you want them... Don't expect them anytime soon. It's become a mandate, basically, like, don't sell this figure because they kind of went out of turn in the whole cycle of Marvel Legends. And so expect him to be on shelves and then shipping around from various retailers, fan channels, yada, yada, around December. So just keep an eye out. Still going strong with the Nintendo Jack specific calendar. I actually finished shooting all the rest of the days. And I think I'll have like a really quick mini review up on my YouTube once it's done. But um, yeah, just uh, as of this, as of this video, just a few more days left to go. Shout out to Blue Ranger Powers on Instagram in Patterson, California. They found the Walgreens exclusive, the Power, Hasbro Power Rangers, Dragon Shield Black Ranger, the Zack figure. 
And thank you to MCU Collector 24 for letting me know about this. This, you know, a lot of people are after this figure. It's, it's again, coinciding with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It's, it's you're not going to be able to remove the, the dragon accessory because you're still going to have the gold bands on the Black, uh, Black Rangers arms, just FYI. But, uh, yeah, a lot of people are saying, you know, I can remove his, they, they know what they're doing. They want you to buy this one, and then they want you to buy a Black Ranger. Just, ha, wink, wink. <laughs> so, they definitely know what they're doing. But, uh, yeah, Walgreens, I would say start looking for them this weekend and into the next, and subsequently, you know, as as we get closer to November, I think he'll be a lot more readily available. I know a lot of people are going after Power Rangers, but I don't know if it's like, ah, I gotta go get this kind of thing. You know what I mean? Not just yet. It's If it was a regular you know, the Black Ranger without, I'm going to leave it to you guys. I'm going to pick it up when I find it, but uh, good luck out there in grabbing one. Shout out to Oscar M. Torres 96 in Hondo, Texas. This guy, I think he made the best uh, find literally. And then everybody else kind of went to Walmart and started finding him. The Marvel 80th, (laughs) the two packs were $13 a piece. And then Thor, they, I guess they only had Thor, but like Thor and Iron Man and the Captain America type figure, five dollars singles. So five dollars for singles, thirteen for the two packs. Now that's steel if I've ever seen one. Also, be on the lookout for the Nano Power Gauntlet. Apparently, that went up for around twenty-one dollars in certain areas. So just keep an eye out for all the crazy Walmart deals. I just make it happen. They, they got deals on everything so just keep it up all right and moving on this this is the weird this is where we get a little weird and it's one of those things where toys r us back in the day for those let's just there's a there's a divide because there's those that collect toys and went to toys r us religiously have the nostalgia of going to toys r us with your parents your grandparents and walking the toy aisles and it's, it's something that, you know, people that have kids nowadays, oh, you know, I'd love to take my kids to a toy store. Let them experience that fun time that uh, kids have. And they, and they remember, I remember, everyone remembers. However, we know what happened with Toys R Us. It's been run into the, the ground with everything that happened. It's become a negative thing. And something that I don't even really like to talk about because everyone instantly, you know, you say anything like, Here's this. You're upset that Toys R Us closed and then immediately goes to like, oh, you're just, you're, you're whining. You wanted to, you, you didn't like the prices. You, you know, it turns in like a negative thing. So the bottom line or what you know, I'm trying to, to evoke is that Toys R Us was so much fun. And then as time went on, it kind of lost its way and then it didn't conform with how the market was changing. It didn't pay its bills. It totally collapsed in on its of, of itself due to, business practices and when i say business practices it's business but it's not the way to conduct business it's not good business and in that sense it's business it's how you want to do it but it's not ideal and it affects a lot of people companies people's well-being you know their their money and everything else so toys r us did a thing where it closed and a lot of people lost their jobs and they lost everything. No benefits, no nothing. Okay. So then they go like after they closed and they, they kept trying to bring him, Oh, we're going to do this. They did Jeffrey's toy box. And there was like a little box in some stores full of you know, stuff. And then they had toy fair and Toys R Us was like there at toy fair. You know, I didn't go in the booth. I was like, eh, nah, I'm good. It's not Toys R Us's name has been forever tainted, unfortunately. So, when you start seeing that they're going to be doing pop-up stores again in various malls, there's a couple in, in, in New Jersey, East Coast, we'll just say. And today, or not today, but this week, they announced that Toys R Us's website relaunched. And I spent a good 30 minutes checking it out. And I was testing it out and seeing what's on there. It's It's almost, I don't know why or who okayed this because... They're trying to say that the new Toys R Us, they got reviews on products. So does YouTube. They got uh, stuff in stock, but we're going to be using a different company to ship it and, and look at the products. And 
it's it's so odd and i mean i understand what they're trying to do and and it's a business matter there's a partnership where they're going to be relying on target to kind of bring them back during the holiday season whereas it's weird because why not just go to target so there's got to be some something in it for target big time to be doing this because um, there's no point in helping a rival company, toy store. When I mean, Target is not a, a toy store; it's a department store. Walmart is the world's best toy store, ha! Huh? But uh, <laughs> can't even say that with a straight face. The uh, Toys R Us coming back is weird, and I I don't see any companies being like, "Cool, here's an exclusive." I don't see anything like that happening. It's odd they're strictly relying on the brand name as of this point. But again, for for regular people, for like 90% of the population, Toys R Us, they're going to go, oh, Toys R Us is back. Good. Oh, I miss Toys R Us, you know. But for the people like us that collect toys, that that new people that worked at Toys R Us, that I, you know, I knew, I knew uh, the employees, they, they, you know, growing up, they'd be like, hey, you know, we just got like these in or come in, we got new toys. You know these people. You form a bond with these people. So you feel for these people when they go out of business and they lose it all. And the, the company goes like, oh, yeah, we're good. Like, you know, we'll just reopen again. They're not taking old gift cards. There's a whole Q&A, like, fact section on there. So if you want to check that out. But um, I, I honestly, if we're being 100% honest, I'm just like, okay. Like, you know what kind of toys you're going to have? Marvel Legends are on the site. They're old. You know what I mean? It's it's, it's like, okay. It, it's nothing I have any interest in and I won't be buying from because I'll just go to Target. I'll even go to Walmart. I go to Amazon. It's just, that's what's happened. Toys R Us, the, the days of walking through a Toys R Us store are gone. It's unfortunate. It was a lot of fun back in the day. It was so much fun to, to go there and, and get a toy. You know what I mean? Like It's like KB Toys and all that kind of stuff. So those days are gone. We're going digital now. It's just the way it is. So when they come back and they're like, look at us, we're back. Oh, man, did you miss us? I'm like, not really. <laughs> to be quite honest with you, not really. So I wish you luck, but we all know how this is going to go. So that's that's my little conversation piece. And as they do more stuff or if any company is crazy enough to give them exclusives and yada, yada, you know, more power to you. I, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> Retro Shiz came back. Oh, look, lighter, lighter note again. Retro Shiz came back. Um, again, I, I've just been crazy slammed. There's, uh, a, and I'm most appreciative, you know, a lot of uh, companies have been saying, oh, you know, this is coming out, this is coming out. So we've been taking a look at those. But um, I want, this is very near and dear to me and bringing back Spider Man the Animated Series. So I'm going to do the finale of the whole Spider Man the Animated Series in the sense of it'll cap it off. And then we're going to start doing Aliens from Kenner because I really want to get into that. But before we do that, I managed to get a figure that I've been looking for for years and years. Sometimes sometimes it's expensive, sometimes it falls through the cracks. But it was a 10-inch The Spot figure from Spider-Man the Animated Series. And I'll put a link right here and you can go and check it out because it's actually a lot of fun and he's a great addition to your collection. So I highly recommend him. Shout out to Krakens underscore Customs on Instagram. They wrote in. And they found a Thanos copter. It's a kind of a drone, we'll just say, or like a flying helicopter, one of those wireless sort of deals. But um, yeah, they <laughs> they found it at Walgreens. And then shout out to Spawn XD209. More people, like as a couple of days went by, they sent over more pictures. It's actually made by Gain Max through Walgreens, so it's kind of like a little team up. It's it's one of those like hospital toys, you know what I mean? But it's because it's a Thanos copter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab one of these when I see it. Twenty bucks at Walgreens if you want it. It's nowhere near in scale or anything else. But I mean, the fact that they made a radio-controlled Thanos copter—that's pretty. That's pretty cool. I gotta give it to them on that. If you are a Funko Pop collector and if you want to head over to Entertainment Earth, I'll put a link in the description below. They're having a buy one get one fifty percent off sta- sale. It'll run through the weekend, I believe, and. It's, there's some good ones on there, some new ones, uh, a lot of MCU ones, Star Wars, things like that. So definitely go and check it out. You might find some good pops. I'm not the pop expert. I know which ones are coming out every once in a while, and if 
I see him in store. I have a few people. I call. I go, hey, you know, you need this one. You need that one. There's a giant uh, Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> I think that was the last one everybody wanted. And then I saw like a billion of those things stacked up. I'm like, oh, that's how this is going to go. Okay. Super 7 released some more images of their upcoming Playmates inspired Ninja Turtle figures. They are available for pre-order now. They run you 42 bucks a piece. And the pre-order ends at the end of the month. So if you want them, definitely go and get them. There's four in the set. Baxter Stockman, Raphael, Splinter, and the Foot Soldier. And they released some photos just to kind of clarify a few things. You will be getting a handful of hands, weapons, accessories, that kind of deal. But you'll also be getting a tree that evokes the old Playmates toys when you had to pull the pieces off yourself and you know trim the little nubs so you don't poke yourself while you're trying to put Leonardo's sword into his hand. Right through my thumb it went. But uh, a lot of people were saying, uh, you know, they were confused that you'd have to kind of break this up and ruin that. They, they, you know, a lot of us as collectors, we don't like to, we don't like to ruin anything. Figures, we like things to be pristine. So a lot of people thought that you'd have to kind of break them off the tree and paint them yourself. It's not the case. Get the weapons and the tree with the weapons on there. So you don't have to break anything or do anything, but they do look great. And uh, I, you know... I wish Super 7 the best of luck with these things. They are the epitome of what came out in the 1980s, and they have recreated it masterfully. A lot of Ninja Turtle stuff hitting right now, so it's pretty awesome. This is <laughs> this actually made me laugh. Shout out to JNL underscore toys. JNL toys. Awesome dude. He uh, used to work for Mattel and created all the, a lot of DC Multiverse figures along with a lot of people on the team, but did an amazing job. And uh, I love talking with him. He's a great friend. They, they sent me over this photo. So Target, as a lot of people know, are having a sale. You buy uh, $50 worth of toys, you get 10 bucks off. You spend 100 you get 25 off. Uh, this was funny. So right posted in front of the Legos is this ad for the coupon. Like, hey, buy a bunch of Legos and get all this money off. No, you can't use it on Legos. You can't use it at all to the fine print. Hot Wheels also, and the Barbie Dream Home. It's always the Barbie. They'll be, they never do coupons for the Barbie Dream Home for whatever reason. Also, shout out to Toys and Superheroes on Instagram. So this is going to be a Target event, and it will be on the October 26th. Better check your stores to see who is going to be hosting this. It's not going to be every Target, but from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m., you can go to Target and partake in a Hidden Side, Lego Hidden Side event. So I think that's pretty cool, especially for Halloween, a little bit of the spooky kind of Legos. And usually when they do Lego events like this, they got little things you can build or do or, you know, something fun for the kids, stickers, they gave away stuff, yada, yada. So definitely go and check it out. Check your store, October 26th, 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Shout out to Stone underscore Feathers up on Shop Disney. He came across some brand new Disney Marvel toy box figures. They have the MCU Spider-Man. They also have a Malibu Logan (laughs) and then also Captain Marvel in her red suit. And I like that Captain Marvel comes with goose with the uh, the alien creature tentacles coming out. I think that's a nice little touch. So uh, I think that's great. Also Wolverine, one of the first forays of uh, Disney going into the X-Men. So that's not a hint hint like, hey, guess what we can do now? Comes with a hat, much like Malibu Logan should, and a sword. And then extra head. So that's not too shabby. And then Spider-Man comes with a giant web shield. And I think that that's it. It looks like, no, I think that's just part of the packaging. Yeah, giant web shield. So if you are a big fan of the Disney toy box, more figures are still coming. A lot of people are saying, you know, where's that the Winter Soldier 2-pack? Captain America and Winter Soldier with the motorcycle. It's only been found at Disney Park so far. So hopefully it will be hitting the Disney stores soon. No word just yet on that. Take with a giant grain of space salt, but apparently the rumor is that the new trailer, well, actually, should be like the, the first official trailer, I guess you could say, because the clip show madness, that was the first one, didn't show much. But uh, October 21st, during Monday Night Football, yeah, you're going to have to sit down with your pops and watch, you'd be like, wait a minute, what are you doing? You're supposed to be out playing with toys. Why are you out here watching my football game with me? You're up to something. Well... Yeah, you can catch the new Star Wars trailer or, you know, shortly after online, I'm sure. But um, my thoughts on Star Wars is this. I got caught up, of course, in the Triple Force Friday hype. I'm still waiting on my Target order, which they once again pushed back as of today. So it's, I hope my Carbo Mando comes, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm not worried, but it's got me bummed if I don't get it. Because that's, that's the one I really 
wanted out of the whole set. But um, yeah, I'm excited for Star Wars, but I don't have any high hopes. That's really it. So I'm going in there, stoked to see it. If it's terrible, well then, that's just what it is. You know, you can't do anything about it. Up on Entertainment Earth, they put up pre-orders for the NECA Iron Maiden Pharaoh Eddie figure. Again, it's a little bit of an early pre-order, but if you wanted to get it in, June 2020 release, 30 bucks. Brings them home. What did I say? Pleases Ra. Ra is the Egyptian god. Yeah, uh, you know. Anyways, history, my favorite subject. Anyways, uh, yeah, Iron Maiden, Pharaoh, Eddie. This got full on clothed, uh, you know, wrappings. And I love the face sculpt on this guy. So if you want to, <laughs> if you want to up the irons, as they say, definitely go and grab this Eddie figure. Also on Amazon, Mattel. They're gonna. It was the Avery collection was originally going to be a GameStop exclusive. I myself kind of was like, oh, I don't want to go to GameStop buy these things. But of course, if it's an exclusive to the store, I've already said that you got me. However, good news: Entertainment Earth, Amazon, they're all getting the Amber collection starting next year. So like spring, right around let's say February, March, something like that, 2020. So a little bit late as they are releasing now, GameStop. But if you wanted to wait, maybe save up some money. A lot of great stuff coming. Yeah, you can go ahead and pre-order them on the uh, Amazon website, Entertainment Earth. They did have the Velociraptor up, but he was only up for a short time, and then he went up to, like, stupid prices. So I would just wait. Don't worry. They'll be back somehow, some way. Those things always come back. Shout out to JWMP underscore show for the heads up. Always gives you the heads up on these SH Figure Arts figures coming they're going to be having their anti ock suit for the Spider-Man PS4 video game. And this is going to be one of, the, one of those online exclusives. Apparently, it's supposed to hit later on, maybe towards the end of this year into spring. More details as it becomes available. I've seen this, this uh, character in action in the video game scene, cutscenes, and uh, it looks pretty cool. I have to say, I would imagine that if Marvel Legends is making some costumes for the video game, it's a very popular video game. Everyone knows that people want these costumes. I wouldn't put it past him that the anti ox suit may be coming. There's there's nothing being said, but you have to think if they're making other costumes for the PS4 games and then those sell, you know, the Spider-Verse only goes so far. They got to start delving into other things. Anyways, NECA finally on Target.com. Well done, NECA. You've had quite a week and a half with New York Comic Con and a couple reveals. And you also acquired a loot crate and have started a new loot crate system where it's uh you know incorporating action figures into purchasing of loot crate so you're not just getting a box of you know 99 cent type goods you're also getting a figure if you want them if you fund them you fund it you funds then you get your figure so they got ones for godzilla with kid robot and then you also got the uh splinter spirit of splinter figure from the ninja turtle movie and then a gremlins one as well so definitely check out neca.com lootcrate.com check it out fund them if you want them but I'm just really happy that Target is finally letting NECA sell their products. It's there's You have to look and be careful. There's third-party sellers doing it that have always done it. And now Target is selling them themselves. So this bodes well for the upcoming Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figure exclusives that should be hitting anytime now. I'm, just exp- I'm saying next week is when they're going to start popping up. So just be on the lookout for those. Shout out to Crazen's Raisins 316 for their find. They got in their new Mattel Marvel X-Men Barbie figures. These were um, slated for a little bit later release, but the, their local GameStop where they pre-ordered them got them in early, and they sold them. So they got uh, Jean Grey, you got the Phoenix in her red costume, you got Storm, and then you also you have Mystique, and all of them look pretty fantastic if you're a Barbie collector. And you want something new and different? Heck yeah. You know what I mean? If you are a Marvel Legends collector, this might be right up your alley. It might be something good for your kids or your wife. Something like that. I'm just saying they look pretty cool. A little bit expensive. I will say that they run around the $80 mark. But um, they're well designed. I got to give it to them. I saw them at San Diego Comic Con. And they look fantastic in, uh, in person. So well done, Mattel, on that. Also, Mezco Toys put up their new... This is their five-point scale action figure line, the Adams Family. This is the new Adams Family, the uh, CGI animated film that's coming out very, very soon, actually. 
if you're if you go to IHOP, IHOP's running like this deal where they got like, like purple icing pancakes and stuff. They look so terrible for you, but I have to try them. I just want to try them, so I'll let you know how that goes. But um, I like gimmicky stuff like that. That's that's funny. I mean, like oh yeah, and the Adams family is awesome, and I really like how they took the designs from the original creator and use that for the new animation they're very very spot on to the original cartoonish type look so i'm interested to see this movie i really am mezco toys they're selling all their the whole set together if you want or they're doing it in uh, several double packs so if you want to go ahead and grab them the pre-orders are up now shout out again to troy z he made it twice on this list up at eb games canada he came across the danny moonstar so if you are up in canada and you don't have a Walgreens, and you're not here in the U.S., and you're at Walgreens, and you still can't find her, you can go up to Canada, and they definitely have her in spades, apparently. So definitely go and check her out. I took a look at the brand new Diamond Select Marvel Select Sandman figure. I'll put a link in the description below. The Sandman figure, I was a little bit on the fence about this figure, I'm not going to lie, but it completely blew me out of the water. A lot of customizable options, accessories that whole jazz so definitely go and check it out and make up the decision for yourself if you want to get one amazon has them as well also a couple of the dc multiverse figures for the final killer croc collected connect wave went up on amazon last night a lot of people were saying like oh these have been up for days well they're actually shipping now so that's you know you can only post so much about like pre-orders pre-orders and then they don't ship but they finally uh, they sent over a notice and we're like hey you know these are up and i was like well if they're actually up and they're shipping well then perfect so they had the Red Robin, they had the Dick Grayson Batman, which a lot of people, I mean, they were like, this is not Batman, this is Dick Grayson. Well, Amazon doesn't know everything. And then they also had the KG Beast, so that was really cool. And then shout out to the toys that made us. I was talking to Dean from the show, and he sent me over this nice picture. This is their new Blu-ray Seasons 1 and 2 set from the awesome Netflix show. And of course, shout out to... Fuzz Fang and Brian Volkweiss on Instagram, both creators of the show and editors and everything else. They do a fantastic job. Look up Fuzz Fang. He's the reason we were talking at the uh, PowerCon. Uh, you know, it's the reason why everyone keeps saying bong, you know what I mean? And um, yeah, I, I got to meet the gentleman that said that, worked on Masters of the Universe. It, I had a great time. Yes, the Toys That Made Us Seasons 1 and 2 is now on Blu-ray. You can buy it at the store or an Amazon link. I can put that in the description below as well. And it comes with a NECA Toys made little toy of the TV that they always have in the opening. You know, that little iconic looking old school television set. NECA made a version of that so you can include it with all your figures if you want. I definitely need to grab one. There's been so many toys coming out that I was like, oh my god, yeah, there's actually shows about the toys that made us. I completely forgot. And look for your stores now to grab one of them if you want one. And then finally, we're going to end it with this. This is a, like your, this is like the Daily Show, like the moment of Zen. Uh, shout out to Bohemio underscore life and his wife for finding the actual photo. And he sent it over to me. This is an ad in a New York City subway car. And it's on the window. And it reads, shrink. And what do you do when you've had a rough day? And then, of course, you say, well, I buy more figs. And the shrink says, no. <laughs> and then it says, hashtag retail therapy. And it's for figs. Wherefigs.com has nothing to do with action figures. It's actually a medical scrubs, like a high-end medical scrubs company for clothes and things. But uh, I just thought it was very appropriate for action figures. And I think a lot of people agreed. So just kind of take that in. Like, what do you do? When you've had a rough day, do you buy toys or do you go, you know, try to make it better? Do you spend it with t people you like or love? Really think about that. Do toys really make you happy in the end? Sometimes it's yes, sometimes it's no, and sometimes you're just like, wow, I've spent a lot of money this this month so far with Star Wars and Marvel and Jurassic Park and other things that, you know, you're on eBay late at night. So just, <laughs> just always keep that in mind. Days are not always as bad as you think they are, but uh, every once in a while, if you're having a rough day and you want to make yourself happy, maybe that one toy will end up doing it for you. Maybe even like an older toy or, you know what, best yet, have some fun with toys you already got. That way you don't spend any money. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. We're leaving uh, like a little somber note, but hopefully it's a little sweet note. But I'm going to leave you guys with that as always. Drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember that the holidays 
are coming in, baby. Then look for clearance prices and sales and everything else. I'll be posting them on my Instagram and all the other feeds of toyshes, yada, yada. This is going to be a lot of fun, but I want to save you guys money, and I want you to be smart when you are spending your money because there are better things than toys sometimes. Vacations, life, food, (laughs) in some cases. You can't eat Top Ramen all the time. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.